Welcome to our Distributed Systems and Cloud Computing module. With Distributed Systems, we have resources located at more than one location, and those resources are combined in order to provide a service. SCADA, or Supervisory Control and Data Acquisition Systems, and many different databases are distributed. Cloud computing is the use of a third-party web service to meet your scalable computing needs in your organization without investing in a traditional infrastructure in a data center. Cloud computing includes infrastructure as a service or IaaS, platform as a service or PaaS, software as a service or SaaS, as well as Web 2.0. A couple examples of cloud computing services are Amazon Web Services, or AWS, which promotes elasticity by making it very easy for you to add or change resources in your environment on the fly, Salesforce.com, which is a customer relationship management tool that is accessed through the internet as a software as a service model, and Google Apps, which is a software as a service product for email, information sharing, and security. Cloud computing is an elastic computer model that uses a third-party service provider or distributed web services to meet your scalable computing needs. We refer to it as elastic because it is easy for you to add or change your resources through your provider in a cloud computing environment. With cloud computing, you are leasing the services as you need them from a cloud computing provider using virtual servers and storage area networks. Cloud computing allows you to reduce your initial investment and your total cost of ownership because it is less expensive than setting up a traditional infrastructure that you have full control of. Your security, confidentiality, integrity, and availability is a primary concern when the data leaves your network or if you hire a third party to store your data. You must make sure that you have proper provisioning, or steps in place to set up and take users out of the system as they join and leave the company, it is important to determine how you will provide authentication, authorization, and accounting services for the individuals accessing the data, and also how you will address data recovery. It is critical that when you use cloud computing that your data is segmented from other users and that you have it encrypted while it is being transmitted to the cloud computing provider and while it is at rest or sitting on the disk at the cloud computing provider. It is important to make sure that you do not share the encryption key with the cloud computing provider so that they do not have access to the data. You should remember this for the CISSP examination. There are three primary categories of cloud computing. Hosted infrastructure or infrastructure as a service where you are purchasing virtualized servers and disk storage space. Hosted platforms or platform as a service where you are renting virtual servers with operating systems already installed. And hosted applications or software as a service where you're leasing the use of a service provider's already configured software, and this is generally on a per user basis, such as Netflix. When you use cloud computing, you are expanding the boundaries of your data center. There are four different infrastructure deployment models that are commonly used today. The public cloud is the most common infrastructure, and this is for open use by the general public on the internet. It exists on the premises of the cloud computing provider who provides the service. An example of a public cloud would be Dropbox. With a private cloud, the infrastructure is provisioned exclusively for the use of a single organization. This can either exist on site at your office, or it can be off premises and be either owned by the organization or leased to the organization. A community cloud is a cloud infrastructure provisioned for the use by a specific community of consumers from organizations with shared issues such as federal or state governments. The equipment for a community cloud can be on site at a specific location or can be stored at the provider's location and accessible over the internet. A hybrid cloud is the combination of two or more distinct cloud infrastructures, such as private, community, or public. You should be familiar with these four deployment models for the CISSP examination. This concludes our Distributed Systems and Cloud Computing module. Thank you for watching. <laughs>